your neighbor uh, as you say. The neighbor way get money, una go love. Why am I always envious? Why am I always jealous of people? Why am I always comparing myself to people? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, best friend. So today, we're going to be talking about something that is very difficult to talk about. Like, this is a conversation I don't want to have. Honestly, I don't have this conversation. That this is not about them. This is about how they make people feel. This is not about me being disrespectful or me having no culture or being cultureless. No, 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 no. It's not about that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's not about that today. Today is about those things that people say is culture and tradition. Turns out... It's toxic. Stay tuned for more information. <laughs> the topic today is the five most toxic things African elders do. Or in other ways, you can say five most toxic things you can experience coming from an African family. What I mean by this is the things, the behaviors, the character traits that you will experience coming from your elders. That is, it can be your parents, it can be your aunties, your uncles, your guardians, anybody older than you in your community. That is what I mean by toxic things they do that they might not be able to see. They might think it's normal or that it's a cultural thing, but it's actually very, very much toxic. And this is the list. The first thing that you experience coming from an African family is unrealistic expectations. I'm not saying that you mustn't have expectations of your children or your nephews or your nieces or the children in your community, but just make sure that your expectations match your investment in your children's dreams or businesses or careers or whatever it is that they want to do with their lives because a lot of people expect you to magically become very successful when they didn't invest in you these expectations are so high that they expect you in your 20s to already have bought a piece of land built a mansion bought yourself a car and have five degrees to your name secure the job and secure the position up there all those things that they expect you to achieve that they probably did not achieve at their own time and they don't even have the um, capacity to help you achieve them they expect you to, to achieve them on your own you know they expect you to go out there i'm not saying there's anything wrong with you going out there and making shit happen for you or making things happen on your own but when you keep on pushing it and having these expectations but you're not investing in someone that is a problem you're not putting any money in this person and you expect them to become like someone that you're seeing whose parents probably invested in. Most of us here in Africa are living to survive. We're not living to leave or they're not living because that's the career. They're just living it to survive. So for someone to have all these expectations about you when you're only living to survive, it's very difficult. Most people have only achieved certain things in their lives in their 40s. I'm not saying that that's what you must do because our generation is a different generation. But it just needs to be realistic. You need to see what type of background and what type of upbringing you as an elder have given this person. What input did you put in their lives for you to start having all these big, big expectations of them when you didn't put any input? It's very difficult to start off on your own than... For someone who has backup from their parents or from their aunties and uncles and whoever it is that they have backup from, it's very difficult. So those people who backed up that person to get to where they are, it's okay for them to have those expectations. But when you have not invested in a person and you have not put in much investment, be it money, be it time, be it whatever it is, whatever, whatever type of investment that you put in to try and push them forward, you need to have realistic expectations because you know what that person either your child your niece your nephew is going through because they talk to you about these things they tell you what is happening in their lives but still you keep on pushing pushing i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but we just need to have some respect for people learn to make sure that your expectations are respecting boundaries and respecting how the other person feels and what plans they have for their lives your parents want to turn you into who they should have been if they had focused on their own lives. I'm not trying to throw shade. I'm not trying to throw shade. I'm, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But that that is something that is common. I'm not saying that we are ungrateful that or these people that ask me to do this are ungrateful to their parents in any way. But they feel like their parents are always trying to live their dreams through them, which is not bad. 
but you need to make sure that you don't enforce it and make it look like this is something that you want for you that is good for your kids but it's only good for you they need to start learning to listen and not trying to force things on people trying to create this dream sometimes that type of behavior can actually stop someone from being creative someone can stop someone from trying to find genius ways to um, go out there in the world how many geniuses do you know here in africa or how many geniuses do you ever hear of here in africa that invent things that create things that you guys hear of like steve jobs like those big names how many of them do you hear about here in africa that everybody knows about and they've become a billionaire or whatever it is that is because our parents when they see you you're busy trying to be creative they'll be like oh no when are you going to make money from these things that you're talking that you're doing so your creativity is very limited like I don't know how to put this like most times people in Africa are not being creative for the sake of creativity they're being creative for the sake of when am I gonna make money and that kind of limits somebody's capacity or ability to be great I'm also not saying that we cannot outdo our elders or our parents or whatever it is but we need to make sure that these expectations don't make someone's future feel inadequate not good enough not intelligent enough not creative enough you don't fit in the world because you have been put in a certain box in a certain place anyway we're gonna to come to that hence my second point my second toxic behavior that you see coming from an african home is limitation by limitation i mean they don't believe in your dreams they don't believe in whatever it is that you plan to do with your future for example you say you want to be an artist or you want to be a musician or you, you want to be something unconventional whoever it is that is your guardian will not agree with you because they have a visual representation of who they want you to be the visual representation for your life is lawyer doctor as the other one nurse yeah any of those common careers that they know those are the only ones they know if you come and say you want to be a film director they'll be like what is that you come and say you want to do something else that has nothing to do with these three they'll be like what is that oh in which one is the other one engineer those are the ones they know my question to all these people that always come up with all this forcing forcing career on people where were you when your peers people your same age were busy becoming lawyers doctors managers ministers presidents all those pre prestigious positions that you want to dream for other people i'm not saying it's not a good thing to dream for people but why didn't you dream for yourself where were you when your peers were becoming all these things where were you were there no doctors in your own time were there no lawyers in your own time were there no people achieving their goals becoming presidents becoming ministers becoming all these prestigious things that you're trying to force on your kids were there no people doing that where were you when people were doing that and I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be disrespectful i don't want anyone calling me for meeting and calling the whole family <laughs> making sure <laughs> yeah. I, look i'm not the one that was making this video i am only making this video at the request of other people so i don't want to see people calling my phone hey that video that you make don't i is eh? please don't try me if this video offends you and in african elder black black elder then the shoe fits honestly and that's not my problem you know that? that's not my problem <laughs> i've seen or i've heard some parents have even gone to the point of cutting off their kids from their allowance just because their kid has refused to do what they want them to do they'll cut off that kid from their allowance so that that child will start to obey them that is very toxic behavior very very toxic i'll tell you a story of someone one of the people that asked me to do this video say that every time he would go and play soccer when he was a kid his parents would always always whip him punish him or make sure that he's grounded so that he doesn't go play soccer now what type of behavior is that imagine if cristiano ronaldo's parents were like that would we have known who he is today imagine if paul poba I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. If his parents decided, no, no soccer for you. No. I want you to be a doctor. Would we have known who those people are? I'm not saying just because those people are out of Africa, they will have better opportunities. There's soccer players here in Africa who have gone far with their lives because their parents supported them. I'm not just saying about soccer. I'm talking about sports. I'm talking about music. There's people whose parents have put in that effort to push their kids forward how about you support them make sure that you are there making them know that 
you are not limited whatever it is you put your mind to it you just have to work hard towards it and you can achieve it instead of stopping someone and making them feel like no that thing you're doing is rubbish if you want to do it then i'm not going to put my money in it then i'm not going to support you that's what they do to make sure they restrict you to make sure they don't give you the funds that you need to do what you need to do you don't talk to your children you have a vision of their lives without asking them what is your vision what do you want to do what is your plan this is that is a, that is why a lot of africans when they grow up they don't have a plan for their lives because they don't understand what a plan is nothing is planned when they're growing up nothing nothing, nothing is planned you will see in movies abroad you're gonna see oh this is summer time they've got summer plans you know maybe they're traveling to europe for that summer they're doing this to do as when it's holiday you just stay at home <laughs> no plan just sleep wake up no plan for holiday no nothing if it's holidays to go to that's your auntie's house it's always shouting and talking talk, talk all the time <laughs> that is the holiday that you're going to <laughs> oh my god no we need to do better like <laughs> we need to be better parents you know your kids holiday is coming make a plan for them sometimes it doesn't even need to be far maybe it's just a road trip somewhere in a cheap motel or your kids are far away from home and you take them there and they stay there for a while. It's a holiday, you know. I just stayed at home. Three weeks, four weeks, you're just at home. No. <laughs> they don't even take you out for ice cream. Nothing. Hmm. It's tough. Now, my third point is the reason why I actually made this video. These are topics that you don't really want to talk about. Because you don't want to come out some type of way. But I just had to because there's some people that need to learn. You know, they need to hear this. So the third toxic thing that African elders do is comparison. I mean, if you're not being compared to people around you, then I don't know if you're from Africa. They will compare you to everybody. And this is how they compare. Oh, did you hear your cousin just got her degree in sociology or in political science? She just graduated now and she just got a job the other day. She's doing really well. Oh, did you hear your friend bought a piece of land? Now she's building. She's building this, um, she's building this beautiful house. Oh my God, I went there. That is a house. Yo, she's young and she's doing her thing. She's now building. Wow, that's a very, very ambitious young lady. That is a hardworking young lady. Oh, did you hear, um, this other person bought a car last week. Oh, it was a Mercedes. Oh my God. You should have seen it, the interior of this car. Red interior. Yo, the car is a beast, like. And he's so young. And he's doing really, really well. Like, he's probably even younger than you, you know? By a couple of years. Or oh, some of them will just be direct. <laughs> They'll just tell you. <laughs> they will tell you directly, like. Somebody is doing better than you. Oh, did you hear this? Your friend is getting married. Y your, my friend's daughter is getting married. She just got married last week. When are you going to get married? Oh, did you hear that other person also um, just had three kids, triplets, the other week? When are you going to have kids? When are you? 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 That when are you question is to go. It's also toxic. It's a very toxic question. You need to stop asking people when, 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 when. They will when it's their time. When it's time for them to do what they need to do they will you need to stop it's toxic it's bad behavior it's bad manners it's manless you need to stop asking people when are you gonna do this uh when are you when when are you when are you gonna mind your own business when are you gonna mind your own business that's the question you should be asking yourself when are you gonna mind your own business hmm? Don't you guys know when are you is the most toxic question anybody can ever ask you. And it's very toxic. I find it to be very toxic. If I ask somebody when are you going to get married or when are you going to have kids, I really apologize because I was also being toxic when I did that. Elders, you just need to stop comparing your kids, your nieces, your nephews to people who rely on their parents for everything. To breathe, to eat, to drink water, to sleep, to wake up. It's their parents. You need to stop. Unless if you're the type of parents that's doing everything for your kids, then you can compare them to whoever it is that you want to compare them to. That's your business. You're spending money on them, so you need to see results. You know, you need to see results. You need to see what they're doing with what you're spending for them. You need to stop comparison because it's toxic. You need to stop it because it's demonic. You need to stop it because it can demolish someone's whole sense of being. It can destroy a person's identity. 
can bring doubt in a person's life it can destroy a person's sense of worth it can bring confusion and depression it can bring low self-esteem anxiety it can make someone very anxious to be honest it can make someone just stop working hard because they just feeling so inadequate they're just feeling so senseless they feel like they can't just be good enough because you're always trying to bring somebody that's better than them in front of them it can even destroy the most ambitious person you ever meet in your life you can destroy them because they're now feeling like ah, i don't think i'm good enough to do anything except what everybody else wants me to do it can bring unnecessary competition the only person you're supposed to compete with is yourself you're not supposed to compete with your neighbor your friends or anybody compete with yourself look at yourself in the mirror and try to see a better version of who you are not competing with people sometimes you know you wonder where did i come from with this type of envy in my heart why am i always envious why am i always jealous of people why am i always comparing myself to people it's because it's been embraided is it embodied it's been put inside you by your elders you've been raised up to be like that you've been raised up to be envious you've been raised up to be jealous you've been raised up to not be content with what you have because you're always being compared it's demonic you need to stop you need to focus on yourself you need to focus on what you can achieve and what you are able to achieve with your abilities stop comparing other people you don't know what they have to go through to get to where they are you need to stand up you need to bring genius ideas that will wow people you're not supposed to be trying to bring yourself worth according to what people think about you all the time you're supposed to stand up make things happen for yourself even when people don't like you you need to do what makes you happy even when your whole community all the elders in your community say you're stupid you're mad you're not going anywhere do it because that's what makes you happy they will never be happy with you until you make it that's it if you keep on listening to them you're not gonna do shit i'm not saying you should be rebellious also we need to draw a line here i'm not saying be rebellious listen when it's necessary but when they're invading your space and all this comparing you to people ugh, stop stop it there's a time for everything. A time to laugh, time to cry, time to be happy, time to be sad. Everybody has their own time of when they will achieve whatever they need to achieve. Some people have achieved things in their 50s, in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 60s. Some people achieve their stuff in their 20s and lose it in their 30s. Some people achieve their things in their teens and then when they're in their 20s, they're already done. Nothing. All I'm trying to say is, even as much as you're being compared, that shouldn't stop you. That should actually make you work hard and only compete with yourself. Look inside yourself and try to find out who you are with all these negative comparisons and trying to be forced into things you're not even ready for. Like, try to find yourself first and listen to your heart. Try to find your sense of self-worth. Who are you? Ask yourself those questions. Who am I? Who am I? And stop trying to make people happy when you deep down you're not happy with the decisions that you're making in your life just because you want to make people like you that's what they do they try to make you find acceptance instead of accepting yourself it's wrong it's really wrong it's toxic one other thing that people in africa do this one's for everyone it's not just for elders now it's not for everybody they love you conditionally they give you love according to what you have achieved in your life or where you are in your life not unconditional love please let's be real here work hard so that you can become your cousin or your relatives or your aunties let me just say your your relatives profile picture on whatsapp as your neighbor as you say the neighbor where get money una go love i know that it's only the neighbor that has money that you people are going to love yet yeah, the bible says love your neighbor as yourself huh? but africa they love only the ones that have money it's a very i don't know how to say this one but that is toxic this unconditional love is so bad that when you're not popping in your life people do, are even ashamed to talk about you people are ashamed to bring your name in conversations because they they have nothing good to say about you because at that point you know where your life should be or, or what they envision for you so they even ashamed to bring up in conversations with other people like that is just toxic that is toxic behavior just be proud of people even with the little wins that they're doing in their life sometimes it's even difficult to have one little win like to just wake up and win at something is very difficult so just be proud of whatever it is that someone is trying it's really when they're trying you know they're trying so you just need to learn to love people unconditionally not conditionally 
not because now I've made it, everybody, I'm, everybody's profile picture. I will block you if I see you putting me as a profile picture because I've made it. You'll be blocked. I don't care who you are. I don't, I don't care if, <laughs> if we're twins or whatever it is. I will block you personally. Because that is very shady. Like, that's wrong. Mm -mm. Just love people. And make sure that you just enjoy this human being. Not the tide of the brain, not who they know, or how much they get paid, or what car they drive, or where they live. Oh my god, where do you live? How much do you pay for your house? Don't be rude. That's rude. Those are rude questions. Just blow now. Just make it. Just make it a little bit. You're gonna see people you didn't even know before that will be coming back. Oh my god, we used to be in the same school. Really? We used to be in the same class. We used to be in the same school. Why are you bringing that up now? But that's how people are. They'll only love you when it's good for them. Yeah, Nikki Minaj said, people only love you when it's beneficial for them. You need to stop. I know that there's too much suffering, there's too much pain, there's too much all these things here. Not only in Africa, but in the whole world. But just stop this conditional love, you know. Some people only call you when they're bored. Like, no offense, and I'm not saying you can't call me when you're in a bad space. But I don't, I'm not your bottom body here. Eh? I'm not saying don't call me, but just make sure that you're being a genuine person and you're just not using me for my energy, you're not using me for my good advice, you're not using me for all the good things that I bring into your life. Why couldn't these people just come around me because they really, you know, fuck with me, like they fucks with me. They're my people. Why can't you just be that type of person who actually likes someone? Like nowadays, I think I'm gonna keep my energy to myself because it's very important. So if you need motivation or you need advice, come to my YouTube channel. That's what it's for. It's gonna help you. It's got a lot of information. That's why you people are turning everybody into savages. It's not everybody that's a savage, but when everybody around you is a voucher, a leech, or whatever, a savage themselves, you're gonna turn savage. Honestly, you're not gonna care. Like be like so. And most of them will even fake humble just so they can use you well, that's just very hungry behavior like even if you're hungry you need to learn to just be kind stop being selfish stop being self-centered stop all these me 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 type of behaviors try to think about other people jealousy envy comparison demonic from the pits of hell that's where it comes from hell witchcraft that's witchcraft bad belly people bad behavior so learn to genuinely love your neighbor as yourself not only the one that has money, put them as your DP. Oh, did you see my camera just bought a G wagon? I will block you. <laughs> you will be blocked. <laughs> just leave me the way you didn't put me as a profile picture. Leave it like that. Let's just, let's just leave it. Okay? <laughs> Let's leave it. Hmm? That's what I'm gonna say about this unconditional love thing. Somebody said when people don't have control over their lives, they seek. To control others and that is something that we see a lot in african homes or growing up as an african because they don't have control over their lives most of the time they seek to control others just look at our african leaders and how they behave they always try to seek to control others they don't want to be questioned they don't want to be held accountable and that is the same thing that we'll be experiencing growing up as an African. Our elders don't want to be held accountable for their mistakes or the decisions that they made in their past that would affect their relatives or their children's lives. If you question them, you're being disrespectful, you don't know your culture, you don't know your tradition. Now, this is not culture. All these things I mentioned, they have nothing to do with culture. They have everything to do with people using culture to be toxic, people using tradition to be toxic and no one is trying to be disrespectful here just trying to outline some of the things that young africans or young black people face in their lives because they're not allowed to question they're not allowed to hold people accountable sometimes it's lack of expo exposure a lot of african elders are not exposed they didn't travel the way young people travel today you will go to your instagram your facebook your snapchat you're gonna see young people they're traveling to jamaica this day they're traveling to Ibiza, they're traveling to so many different places. So they, they're learning different cultures. They're learning how to live with other people, how to respect people. Some people have never even been to another city in their own country. So can you imagine how that person's mind is not gonna be exposed? Can you imagine how that person's mind is already in a barricade? They already have barriers already in their lives. They don't know what's happening out there except in their own little world. Can you imagine? The only people that person has ever seen successful is probably a doctor and lawyer. What, ex what else are they going to tell you to be? 
They've never seen a successful musician, they've never seen a successful actor because they don't travel. They've never seen a successful writer, they've never seen a successful dancer. Because the only people they see in the little world who are successful are lawyers and doctors. You need to travel, just move. Sometimes you can even walk. Remember there was a man that walked from Cape to Cairo. You can do it too. Yeah, human, he was human. <laughs> it's gonna take you forever, but you can do it. So now my question to everybody is, where do we draw the line with this type of behavior? Where do we set our boundaries with this type of characteristics? Where do we tell our elders that you're being toxic, you're being narcissistic, you're being controlling without us being the black sheep of the family, without us looking like we're disrespectful or that we don't understand our place in the world or that we're cultureless? How do we sit our elders down? How do we sit our parents down? How do we sit everybody that is older than us down and tell them, you are being toxic? This is not normal behavior. This is not how a normal human being should behave. How do we find that mature way to talk to them and let them know this ain't it? You know, moving with the wave. <laughs> so what I'm gonna say is, how about we learn to respect people? How about we learn to let people make their own decisions? How about we learn to just trust the process, trust what somebody's doing and support them and be proud. It doesn't matter if they're doing something big or small, just be proud for us and give unconditional love. Not conditional love that is based on how successful someone is or how proud you want to look when you go for that meeting. Oh, my son is a lawyer. My daughter is a doctor. How about you just say, hey, I got your back. You can do this. How about you wake up every morning and tell your kids, you can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens you. You can do anything you put your mind to. Not, hey, you can't do that. No, that's not it. No, you're not going to be successful in this. No. No, no, no. Leave it in someone's brain all the time. Ah, but that thing you want to do, I don't I don't think I've ever seen anyone successful in this community with it. And so and so has anyone tried in that community? Oh that that that, that thing you want to do, eh it's, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time because you're not supporting. Imagine if you did support me, imagine if you put in effort. It wouldn't be a waste of time. Learn to direct people in a constructive manner. Learn to trust their decisions. Uh, you hounding them doesn't help them. It doesn't make them independent. It makes them always reliant, and confused, and indecisive. You don't want to raise a bunch of indecisive people. And that's what we have. A bunch of an anxious people, depressed. A lot of people are just hiding behind smiling and laughing that they're okay. But deep, deep down, they are depressed or anxious. Or always trying to fit in, trying to be accepted and can't accept themselves. People will be like, if you're 40 and you're not married, if you're 40 and you're not married, so what? Is it your marriage? Is it your child that they'll be having? People get married at 50. People have kids at 45 these days. They have kids at 40. Why must you put someone in a box that you want them to fit in? Why must you always try to tell someone if they haven't done this at this age, then they should just forget. Forget what? What are you making them forget? Is it your dream? Is it yours? Do you own people's plans and dreams? You need to stop. Even you that does that, if you say, if by 25 you don't own a car, you are toxic. Cause you too. You two are very toxic. You are very, very toxic person. You can't be putting time limits on people's dreams and goals. That just doesn't work that way. You can't be saying, ah, at a certain age, if you're doing some things, you don't just have ambition. Are you mad? Are you crazy? What do you mean? You're toxic. We're putting all of you toxic people in one box. Not only the elders, they breed toxic people. After them, then comes you, the toxic ones. You think it's normal you're going around talking about, oh my god, if by 22 you're not down with your degree, something wrong with them. Something is wrong with you. What is wrong with you is that you're toxic. And you need to change. You need to mind your business. All around, just toxic people that can't mind their own business. Why? Why are you like that? Hmm? How does it benefit you just not minding your business? I think when you mind your own business, you need to be at peace. You just say, peace I live with you. Peace I'll give to you. The type of peace I'll give you is not like the world gives. It's my type of peace. Learn to have the type of peace that Jesus gives. Some of you, you're just fighting battles. That they're not your own. You're so battled inside. Huh. She doesn't have a degree yet. Or I don't know why she doesn't own a business yet. It's none of your business. It's information. None yet. Stop being toxic. I don't know why she travels so much. I don't know why she can't just settle down in one place and not be traveling. It's none yet. None of your business. You are toxic. It's not only the elders. We must also talk about you toxic one. You, yes, you. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. 
you're toxic. You think you're normal? You think you're being cool? You're being toxic. Because you didn't know. Mind your business. Mind your business. Mind the business that pays you. Anyway guys, um, thank you so much for watching and let me know what you guys think about this video down below and let me know if you know any toxic people. Let's see what we can do about those ones and if they can't change, then there's nothing we can do about that. But if you know you have a toxic person or know somebody that is toxic, elder, young, whatever they are and they're toxic and they have this behavior of not minding their own business, put it in the comment section down below so that we can talk about it even if you're the one that's toxic let's talk about you you need to change you know you need to be better do better and if it's me that is toxic just put it in the comment section below and i will see how i can change my behavior so thank you guys for watching this video and bye bye